A very important aspect of Module 7 of the HSC Biology Syllabus is understanding how our body's immune system responds to infection, both the innate and adaptive immune responses. There are a couple of key differences between these two responses that we need to know in order to understand how our body can mount a defense against invaders. So let's start with the innate immune response. The innate immune response is composed of two barriers. Firstly, the first line of defense, and secondly, the second line of defense. The first line of defense is things like skin, cilia, mucous membranes, and secretions in the body. And these essentially provide the first line which a pathogen might encounter when trying to invade the body. The second line of defense includes things like phagocytosis, our lymph system, and cell death to seal off pathogens. These are essentially mounted once a pathogen has gotten past those first external barriers. Our innate immune response is quite quick. It's activated as soon as a pathogen enters the body, but it does not have any immunological memory. This means that it can respond to a variety of different pathogens, but in a non-specific way. This is contrasted against our adaptive immune response. This is like our third line of defense. Essentially, we have two types of cells, B cells and T cells, which compose our adaptive immune response. B cells control antibody-mediated immunity, whereas T cells control cell-mediated immunity. This essentially just means that B cells produce antibodies and T cells produce other molecules which may help in attacking any potential pathogen. When a pathogen first enters your body, it is recognized by helper T cells, which then call all these different other B and T cells to the site of infection in order to amount that immune response. The key difference between our innate and adaptive immune system is that our B and T cells are specifically suited to certain pathogens. They've been selected for due to their specific antigenic factors. The result of this is that your adaptive immune response has immunological memory. This means that if you're exposed to the same pathogen a second time, the response is going to be quicker and more effective. This is why we've produced technologies such as vaccines, so that we can have a quick response to invading cells. So overall, we have our innate and adaptive immune response. They have different capabilities in terms of immunological memory, but overall, as a whole, they provide a complete defense of our body to most invaders. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please join me for the next video on Module 7, which will be about two key scientists, Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur.